<laughs> Hello, no one. It's me, Jaylon, coming to you live from my kitchen this time. Uh, kind of reminiscent of my second stream ever, the, but it's the very first one that appears in my backlog on YouTube. Um, also, I apologize because my voice, uh, I, I've checked this and I checked how I would do it. Um, but I know that my voice isn't the clearest that's coming out right now compared to everything else. Um, uh, but this is the best I can do. But, and I do warn you everything, uh, even if I just like put my phone on the counter, it's going to sound probably hot, higher than my uh, voice itself. But, okay, so uh, let's start. As promised, uh, I am going to be making potato mojita. I got most things uh, out and ready. But before we start, oh, let's continue where we are. There's a honey thinking about it. Okay, so let's continue where we left off. Um, we were going to go see the professor uh, to celebrate completing the Pokedex. Let's see if we'll actually eat potato machine. <laughs> this one, okay. He was waiting for us. Yes, I know I would actually like less space in my side, so just one less. It's been annoying. Okay. Oh, here. Oh, you're here. Smash on the. I'll crook on with the big announcement, then shall I? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for gathering here at my house. We have some very special news to share, so please lend us your ears if you'd be so kind. Today marked the fulfillment of a long-held dream of mine, and the fruition of the most earnest efforts of the entire series of- Uh-huh, no. Actually, I completed the Pokedex all on my own, thank you. Yes, indeed, for you see the Pokedex, I, of course, my new opus is finally, at long last, complete! Is this true? This fantastic assuming wouldn't have been possible if not for the hard work. No, the heroic efforts of our very own daily. From her pulling at the Fender Ball to her all the way up to her battles against the Elder and Cold Threat of Martin and Kermit, she tirelessly surveyed the Pokemon of the stand while teaching, while facing perils of the sort that would send most of us running for the hills. The hills are actually that way. <laughs> All this has left uh, not the hills in the game. But the hills in the game are right behind us too, actually. But the hills right now, where I'm sitting, are like right there. <laughs> right across me. Uh, only to be described as a marble time for human of the completion of the perfect. So, Jalen, you're still very much a serious stranger who fell from the sky. And I know not whether your actions were motivated by your own curiosity or a genuine desire to help the good, help the people. It, they're both good, Komodo. They're both good. Ha. Huh. Yes. But it doesn't matter. You have been a great asset to us, and I'm truly grateful for everything you've done. Perhaps I should also study under the Pokemon professor so I might learn more about Pokemon. So he is quite capable of handling the duties of Commander, I'm sure. Commander Wood, I, in recognition of your effort, I present you with this shiny chunk. Yes! Now we can actually shine him. Now we know the continuation of this series as we try to perfect the Pokedex! Also, we still need to complete the passive solitude. Nice! 
Then I eat potato mochi and my treat. I'll make him extra cheese. Yes, this, this, this is what. No, this, this, this is what we're after. Potato mochi that we're making right now. Is this like going to be a call I'm going to turn off? I bet that clip was louder than my voice, too. In celebration of Jayla and the story course, great achievement, everyone, please sit and dance so down my tips of the sky. Okay, now let's actually do that, please. The first part will be a bunch faster because as a potato sinners, uh, we can play the next day. Let's see what the other time. It's ready. What a, a party yesterday was, right, Jalen? Well, we can't relax just yet. The Pokedex may be complete. But think how many mysteries Pokemon still hold. The circuit quarters of work goes on. Let's keep at it. Okay, that should be all. Alright, so, before we get, let's, um, I am going to try uh, Rosemary's Path of Salty because she's pretty high level. But before we do that, let's get. Okay, this uh, recipe I saw on TikTok. I think, uh, yeah, it was on BuzzFeed uh, Tasty's account, but I think they got it from like this uh, Chinese account too. They, uh, they credit them, but the entire uh, page isn't completely changed, so I am using the TC version. So what she do is, I've got my potato, it's washed and clean, but it still has its skin on. So the next thing to do is just cut it into equal size pieces. They did it in wings, but I'm going to do it smaller. My um. Rose, not my rose, my nose is a little bit runny, so I got some tissues. Um, it's been clogged, uh, I'm not clogged and that I can't really breathe, but um, sometimes it's clogged, so I've been eating a lot of spicy food to, you know, open uh, my nostrils, and so they've been running. I even, for breakfast, I had to know with spicy mayo. I know, not really breakfast food. Mine, I don't really mind. Uh, so that, okay, this, can you even see what I'm doing? Let's, let's not see my face for like a second. This is what I'm doing right now. Just chopping. Chopping, chop, chop, chop. I think they're equal enough. Now let's cut not all of them. I think they're similar enough. So what we're gonna do now is put these in a pot and then cover them in cold water. And then let them Okay, let me just pour some water on these and come right back. Okay, here it can't be really see. But there is water here right now. Okay, nothing interesting is gonna happen for quite a bit, so let's just let this simmer in medium heat. Okay, here we go. And it's that until it's fork tender. And to know that I have a fork 
here. Um, the, the recipe doesn't call for it, but I'm I am going to add uh, a pinch of salt, more than a pinch, because you know we're boiling potatoes. Can't have that with it. And, and also, there's like a lot of sugar uh, in this recipe, so I don't want it to be like super un under seasoned or anything. You know, and potatoes, they need rice. Uh, sorry, they need <laughs> uh, salt. Okay, now, I'm sorry, that's probably too loud. Um, let me add a filter maybe to this. Um, I think this should be good, right? Maybe, we'll see. Okay, um, now as that, as that simmers, let's continue with our uh, rosaries. Half of salt. Also, you know what I realized? I haven't checked my feels in quite a while. Um, I haven't eaten much because I have so much money. Oh, wait, I got a gas should, oh, yes, 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 let's switch. Who's the guy that we need to talk to? To switch out these guys. Yes, instead of this shell loss, we need the blue gas should have. Yes. Uh, let's see, gastrodon, 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 gastrodon. So we go, is it alpha now? Let us see, let's put this one to work. I don't know guys, if you guys could hear, but the subway just passed below us. It's been really annoying. I don't know if I talked about this before, but yeah. It's not fun that you can hear it. It doesn't really give you a safe. But uh, hello, if you're here, uh, if you just uh, come in, I just completed a Pokedex yesterday, and uh, I and to uh, make good on my promise to make potato mochi. I'm making potato mochi right now. Uh, my potatoes are boiling, but. They're getting ready to summer, and in the meantime, we're doing whatever. And again, okay, let's see. What do we have there? What did we have? Apricots. Okay, okay. Hmm. Yes, please, more apricot harvest. Yes, because I'm cheap like that. Um, even though I don't have any like thunderstones as much. Uh, Okay, let's go see. Oh yes, I forget that we need to get rid of all the Pokemon. Ah, oh, it's going to be so annoying as we thought. Mm. Okay, first of all, let's move these guys. I, I got... The funny thing is, I actually um, put all these Pokemon on my team yesterday. Um, the idea was to train them offline, but I didn't train them. I could have, but I didn't uh, because I started playing a new mobile game. And I guess I checked. The new game I started playing, by the way, is Cooking Diary. And I'm, I'm such like a mobile game deviant that I might, I'm thinking, you know what, maybe I should just stream up that to, uh, okay, let's try it with Rose Raid. What? Accept the challenge. Yes. Let's see what we need to do. We probably won't be able to, I feel like I tried it before when we first got the, uh, Rupas Devious. What did I do? Oh. Ah. 
Oh yeah. I'm severely under leveled for this. Let's do this. They will... What do we need? We need to learn like a rock type move or electric type move. I don't know if... I would probably... Oh, yes. Um, can this... This may target. Okay, let's... Let's do it. Let's begin to summon. Come on, poison. It did not poison. Mm. Oh, what does Dazzle do? Uh, nothing important. What does Energy Ball do? Okay. This, it says this may lower. So let's do this and then do poison one at a time. I know it's not gonna do much, but we're doing this. Okay, it didn't work the way we wanted it to. But let's try it one more time. You know what? I think we could still, but like, we're super lucky because Giga Impact didn't connect twice. Okay. Okay, so okay, I think I know what I want to do now. Um, um, oh wait, I, did I press yes? Didn't, uh, it's fine, it's fine. Maybe we'll get lucky, who knows. Uh, what I want to do next is actually uh, complete some of the things on the Pokedex, like defeat Lucario with fire type moves and stuff like that. Um, so we definitely need Dark Chomp on our team for that. So if we can actually get Rose Raid done, that'd be great. Um, okay, let's do Scorch Bomb and hopefully it'll poison. And then Giga Impact still won't connect. Okay. Yeah. No luck. Mm -hmm. I mean, doing it like that doesn't mean you might as well just do it regularly. Do this style? No. Let's just do it regular style again. And hope that it won't connect. Yes, yes, we might actually win this. Damn it. Oh. It started bubbling, so I'm just gonna lower the temperature on this potato. Let's just push this in there. You know what? I think we can do this. If, if it. The, the worst thing is I think we really could have gotten on the first try. Can you guys hear the water bubbling? The boil? Mm. Okay. Okay, uh, let's... I mean, is it doing anything? It's not, so let's just do it regular style. Like, no style. <laughs> Without any styles. Hmm. Oh, no, too bad. Okay, okay. Damn it, no. It can't do it. Damn it. Okay, uh... Okay. Let's do this. And hopefully one of them will, you know, be poisoning. Yes, this one did. Okay. Let's not risk it with. Okay, this one's 80, this one's. So let's just do it regular, and then next time we'll do it like a strong shot, and we'll... uh, we might actually win this! Yes! Die! 
guys, we did it! One down, four to go. No standard plus rate has reached the final station in Spath of Solitude. By the way, if you can tell me, can you tell me if like you can't even hear me speak? I don't I'm not really I tested it out, but like it might the mic situation might be worse than I think. Because of like the water boiling and stuff. Yes. Good. Okay, let's go complete speak with this guy too. So. I know we to see you. What a thrill to see you go to the best of parts of Salty, but uh, how is this any hurts? Okay, let's. Mm, what about the rest? Let's see if they're. Uh, oh, no. I'm so, oh, so eager on the new button, so. Let's see, this is level 51, 51, 6, and 9, yeah, they're definitely not ready. Um, they're not battle ready. Okay, so, I mean, do we actually need to Lucario on our team right now? Uh, now let's, now let's get these, let's, let's train them uh, two by two. Uh, and we'll start training them with, as one for, uh, we'll start training one for and pick it up because they're going to level up quite quickly on the uh, fields, on um, one of the lands, uh, whereas the other ones, I think I want to do like the team battle with me. No, thank, thank you. Okay, let's, let's leave and uh, we're actually going to go for Iceland's, like I said, the Lucario and other people other Pokemon that we need to be with certain moves. Okay. Okay, we got this quickly. Let's see. Oh. Okay. So, now we don't need this. We're going to Iceland. Mm. Let's go. Oh, it doesn't matter where we're going because we're going to fly to the arena and uh, get that Machamp with uh, Lopunny's very tight move. Still not for tender. Okay. Let's actually quickly check their uh, move sets. Okay, she's got Fairy. Okay. We should be covering like. 12 uh, moves, yes. Steel, Fighting Rocks, Psychic. Oh, the card had Psychic, damn it. Mm. Electric, Ghost, Fairy, Water, Normal Ice, Dark Bug. We don't really need Normal, but I need Full Slide. Um, fire, Dragon, Flyness. So we needed Poison. Actually, with Cleaver and Roserade, I think we had everything covered, but... Oh, we don't have Grass. Um, it's fine. Um, I don't think we need to defeat anyone using Grass at the move right now. Okay, so, and uh, the champ, we need to defeat with a uh, Fairy type move. I'm pretty sure, if not... You know, we got most of our bases covered. Um, okay, here we go. What do we need to do with you? Defeat with fairy type moves. Okay, we got Lord Penny and Ready. So let's do this. Du -du 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 -du. Okay. Um, can we do this? That well, one should be enough. You guys also do this with, uh, like tissues. Because these come with. I just separate one from this, like, it's three flights, so I just use the one. So I'm not doing much, I'm just gonna do this. And put it on. Let's 
Sehen wir, das ist wirklich okay. Mm, oh, nice. Um, let's do it one more time. These guys, because apparently he used his defense. Oh wow. Is it gonna go? Damn it. <gasps> oh, dude, we got him die. If we did. Yeah, I did. Uh, okay, let's jump, uh, because I'm just gonna, oh, but I'm just gonna revive look at me. And then, you know, I don't wanna hit. Oh, oh shit, uh. Oh wait, it's draining this. We can always recover our HP. Ah, oh, yes, nice. Let's take another close combat. Damn. It. Okay. Um. This did not work out the way I wanted to. to. Um. Um, where is the camp? To be like that, right? Even if I fall spawn because I'm just gonna sleep. Let's take these potatoes. These nuts be close to four tender because I can let's try one white. I mean this little piece can Now that's definitely a fork tender. So let's turn off for now. Okay, I'm gonna quickly see that recipe one more time. Honey butter play in the tree. Yes, 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 yes. It's a real, so I need to watch the whole. It's a right. Okay, so uh, we just need so okay. Since we need to mash them, let's wait a bit until they're cooler and just remove them from the heat. Oh, uh, it's actually good here, so I don't actually um, draw accidentally. Okay, let's uh, you know wet my mouse. Here we go. Here we go, here we go. Boom, boom. All the wrong thing. Yeah, the thing about trying to defeat Machamp or what Lopony is that uh, Lopony is super weak to fighting tech moves. Uh, so I completely forgot about that. But what if we uh, like attack it from behind? You know? Uh, let's try that. What if we sneak it? You know, catch him or anywhere. Yes! This is what I was going for. Did we catch it? Oh no, it did not work. I'm able to backstrike, but um... Okay, so let's do this. Uh... Oh wait, this will... 
Oh wait, it's Bulwark. Just fighting Titans don't do anything. So let's just do an I got a cell title ball. Uh, so we can like... Oh yes, perfect. Uh, and then we'll do... One regular draining kiss, then strong stop at draining kiss. I don't even need to, let's just do it regular. Yes. Nice. You know what? Let's actually drain this. I was making, I was like, uh, it's every little, let, let me just like check every single one of them. In the middle, in the center. Yeah. They all seem fine. Okay. I'm just going to drain these potatoes. Because, um, while they're rising, it seems like... That uh, it seems like they're not, uh... I mean, they boil them with their skins on, but they don't rise into the skin. So my assumption is that the skins come off with Dreiser. I've had this Dreiser, but I've never used it with, you know, um... Uh, to just stands on, so we'll see. And I'll also, I'm sure it's easier to peel off the skins after you boil them and let them cool a bit. So we'll see about that. Okay, so we should have, yes, the feed with fair type news. Uh, we did that. Mm. Oh, we haven't stunned it. I can do that, it's, it's easy, we just gotta go five times, right? Uh, let's go get uh, this Lucaria now. Twist here or here? I think this one is Garchomp, but let's go see. Lucario is literally the uh, last Pokemon before the legendaries come out. We does that mean like well, the party isn't a pseudo legendary, right? Uh, pseudo legendary in this uh, generation is Garchomp, if I'm not wrong. Okay, here we go. I will go in straight for. I'm pretty sure the one we're heading for is actually Garchomp. Yeah. Let's see what we need to do with this guy. Do we need to do anything? Do we even need to do anything? Uh, oh, we need to stun it. And we also need to defeat it with fairy type moves. Okay, it's Lopani's day, apparently. Mm. Okay, let's stun it first. It's not going to be easy. Oh, yes. Oh, shit. Uh, uh, we actually probably need to stun it one more time because of the butt attacking us. Okay, let's try this. Yes, it is unawares. Nice. Okay, stun and then attack. Um, let's go. This one is going to be stronger than. Pretty sure this one also has uh, like a fighting type move. I'm not really sure, but uh, let's just do it regular. The grading kiss is pretty weak. It's only 50 power. 
Okay. Let's see, one more time. Remember, our little pony is actually level 100 too. So we should be able to take damage. Uh, let's just do it regular styles, I think. We might be good. Yes, we were good. Yes, Now let's see, what do we still do? Uh, defeat with dragon time. Oops. Okay, so let's get, okay, do we also need to stun you? Fucking no. Uh, let's just get out Garchomp. Pretty sure if we have a dragon tent move. Yeah, and this is what just gonna like end it. Uh, and strong side because we still need Garchomp to use strong side moves like a hundred times. Oh, and dragon cloud too, so two for two. Oh, nice. We'll look at one pull and we can try to the ball then. Okay, now let's see. We need to go to the right, to the right, to the right, to the right. Da -da 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 -da. Let's just climb it up. Climbing. One here is oh we can't we can't go through here. That's annoying. We really know what's behind. Are we there? Yes. Yes we Okay. I'm pretty sure we all can use Virgin because the cario is I remember our like, little dance party when it was like um <laughs> Well, the car was like stunned and all of its like earlobes or something, like hair thingies. What Bane was singing about it was like, <laughs> that was fun. I pretty sure I named one of my YouTube uh, like, uh, videos the car being spoiled yeah, after. Okay, we need to do the actual fire cutters and fire chunks. Oh, you know, I should have dressed similar to my hair. But maybe she should dress according to me. Oh, wait, did it miss? Yeah. Oh, we should have used a strong side, so. Okay, uh. I mean, we should be good. We were like a little one time, but. And it's Garchomp, mind you. Let's see if these have boots. I'm not going to push them. They're cool enough. Oh shit. Okay, I did not die, but you might need to kill. Okay, let's see the strong style. So we done this. I like that the strong style makes it more accurate too. Nice! Let's go. Oh, okay, Garchomp is. Oh, yes. And then there was the thing that I dread doing. Oh. Oh, there it was. Do I need to still catch a crow button? Damn it, I still need to catch three more. Do I have jet balls? So I like to... <laughs> shit, shit, shit. I thought I was gonna die. Uh, that's okay, nice. Let's do it from here. I think I couldn't do it last time. I gave up. I might as well do that while I'm. You know, rising. I can probably rice it with one. Okay. Oh. I don't know what 
Yeah, come on, man. This is a fifth Um. Oh, actually, that is probably the best time to do it. Let's. Right. Okay, so I've got my rice sir. And I've got. Okay, it's coming, it's coming. Let's see if it'll work. Oh. Okay, I've got my bowl. Oh, it's a small one because it's just making this from this one for two. Because I'm single handed, I'm putting the rice here in right now. Uh, wait, it's coming. <gasps> yes! <gasps> yes! We, we got it! Okay, now I can double hand this for like a minute. Okay, uh, let's pause. So something doesn't start attacking me. Okay, let's put one of these in, see if the rice sword will do anything. Skins. I don't like the skins actually, but I'm pretty sure this can't do this recipe. This skins. Yeah, so obviously it just stretches. You can just put it with the skin on top. And you've got nice potato skin. I'm just gonna keep these two because then I can fry them in the oil too and they'll be really crispy. The only thing is. Okay. Let's put two sides in. My bum is hitting the uh That's really what we call it, I don't know. That one mess. Okay. Let me do this one more time so you guys can see. Here. I mean, it's not, there isn't much to see. Let's see, it's being riced. Skins are coming out nicely. Hmm. Just keep this one to go. I like the crunch. Okay. It's easier to do just like one by one because I need to use the less force. And even though it takes like more than just like more individual uh closures time wise and effort wise it's gonna be simpler if i just do them in right now see see how nice they're coming out mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you might be thinking, you know, uh, is one potato going to, like, the recipe called for, like, 150 grams of mashed potatoes, and I did weigh this potato, just a single, they use one, two, and I think it makes, like, five in the original mochis, and, you know, like, who's going to eat just, like, five, um, but I, like, um, I'm the only one who's not on a diet at my house currently, so who knows? I think five is a little bit too much for me. So this Okay, now I'll do the rest of the rice. Goes in. Oh, I also forgot to look up how to do a questionnaire this time. Let me, I don't know if I can do it. Should I just like write a comment on the chat? Oh, this one's slightly harder. But we manage. Okay, cool. 
gonna something new I learned is that apparently you can definitely rice potatoes with skins on. So one more left after this one. A little bit matched up. Well, it just got torn into three pieces. Okay, last one, and we're done with the ricing. So now we gotta do the um the balling. Yep, the game. Okay, let's put all these extra bits into this. Okay, now let's see what that video said. Okay, so we need one tablespoon of sugar, which I have right here. And then I'm going to get a tablespoon out. Here we go. Tablespoon. See, I told you guys there was a lot of sugar. This recipe. Okay. I'm not gonna add a lot because you know there's gonna be hot on this too. So one tablespoon of sugar, and then. 15 grams of room temperature butter, which I already measured and left out before starting the stream. I have 15 grams here. Should be room temperature. Mm -hmm. Yep, definitely room temperature. And then What do we have? Oh, one teaspoon of salt. Well, I already have the same sort of potatoes, but just uh, one teaspoon of salt and a little bit more and 80 grams of glutinous rice flour. And get my scale for this. Get the scale up. Got the rice flour. I don't know if it's glutinous, but this is the only one we have here in the country. Okay, 80 grams. Uh, get half of it. 65. Oh, we just, this is just a bay leaf, you know, so it protects it from moths and bugs. We put it in all of our uh, dry storage items, all our spices, all our flowers, all our legumes, which we have a lot of because, you know, turkey, legumes. 
and then you apply a dry diet. Okay, so now we need. I'm gonna wash my hands real quick. Um, also just flour, uh, and I'm going to put on apron. Okay, now let's start eating. Oh, but before we start, let's <laughs> here is what we have, and I'm gonna start eating right now until it becomes a nice, you know. Um, so. I can feel like the heat of the potatoes and like the uh, cold butter. It's interesting. Side to side. Like, it's actually coming together quite easily. It was definitely a good idea to let the uh, potatoes cool down a bit. They're still warm, but like, um, like if you try to eat it, you'd say, oh, it's gone a little cold, but it's still like, how would I describe this one? It's like, uh, it's like still out in the sun warm in April, not like hot stone in the middle of summer warm. And you know what? I don't really need to I think this is a pretty, I think uh, the problem here is this flour isn't as glutinous as what they're using. So this isn't as mm, starchy as theirs. But you know what? It doesn't matter. It's 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 still coming together. Like I can still make something out of this. It's a little bit more crumbly. Maybe I just need to eat because like with gnocchi, if you uh, ever tried making some, which I did, and it went awfully terrible. If you eat it too much, it becomes a bit gummy. So I just need to knead it a bit more. And I don't even know if I need it. Let's uh, okay. So how they're doing it. I need to wash the whole thing from the beginning again. Uh they're cutting the potatoes, spoiling them, now they're ricing it, and then they're adding all the stuff like we just did. And now they're doing okay, they're doing exactly the same thing until it becomes like you know what, I think we're there. I think this is uh, this is the right consistency. So, I mean, I'm glad. This is like my very first attempt at doing this, uh, and I'm glad I didn't mess up. It's probably because I didn't do like a bigger match, a, a bit bigger batch than they did. Like, if you're doing it something for the very first time, uh, cooking-wise, it's... Uh, It'll be easier for you if, the, if you just do a small batch, like even if they're doing a large batch, try like having or even quartering uh, the recipe. Just because if you make a mistake, first of all, if you make a mistake, uh, you're not losing as many ingredients as that. And um, it's definitely more difficult to make bigger batches, especially in like a home kitchen. Um, so even if you're doing everything right, it's uh, you might still uh, fail, which I've done a couple of times. So that's it. Like if I'm doing like a big batch 
okay, cookies or something to like give away uh, to people, like for like 80 or 100 at a time. I um, learned to make those in at least three batches. It's just, trust me, it's gonna save you a lot of pain and time. Like if you try to do a little one, so try doing it in three days even. Like I wouldn't, I'm still finished in a day, but like the whole entire day. I think, yeah. I think this isn't coming together as well as I would hope. It's a little crackly, probably because um, my gel is, my rice isn't glutinous, like theirs. I don't know how to make it secure. Like, I don't know if I'll add, but let's try. If I make this into a ball, I think no. Now it's a little bit crumbly. I'm just thinking if, I'll, if I add a little bit of the wet egg. Um, the starch water. Ooh, 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 black. Um, will that fix it? Hmm. You know what? Let's. It tastes good though. A little rice flour. But I think this might. Let me add like a one batch. Okay. Here is literally how much water I added. I can I don't know if it can see it's literally like two drops or something. Oops. Ah, didn't do anything. Plus the potato already has like a lot of water plants in it because you boiled it. Mm. What is goodness? You know what? It'll be crumbly. It's fine. It's fine. No, actually, it's not fine because it's not coming off my hands. What am I going to do? I'm not, not like how. I know I can just wash my hands. It's just like, it's maybe we booked it a little bit too much. No, no, no. It, it's fine. We can, we can work with this. And I hope. <laughs> oh, no. It's become gummy now because we overworked it. Ah, who cares? So we can. It's just for me anyway. Okay, let's put this aside. Let's oh, Oh no, you know what I should have done? I should have let game go on. So maybe the alpha Pokemon uh, would have respawned so I could do that. But I did not. Oh, let's. But let's, let's, um, let's do a little play, shall we? Um, oh wait, she's freezing. Um, While we're in Iceland, let's go see what Pokemon uh, we can take if he's done. Five Barrel. Should we go defeat some Five Barrel? We know where they are, they're literally right by here. Hmm. Okay, I'm not gonna hunt for Eevee on uh, screen because. 
and you protect coral without getting spun and dust, just a lot of stealth waiting. Zubat in daylight hours. Oh. Where are they though? Um Snow Point Temple. Oh, so we need to go into the temple and catch them while it's light out. Okay, that's doable. That's doable. Should we do that? Um Yeah, sure, let's go do that. Um now in the meantime we can also catch get those sassos too. Um but let's sleep until morning. Smart, 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 smart. Oh wait, though, is it just gonna be a uh, bronze on? Smart, 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 smart. You, you guys know that um, South Park episode where they, I think they're talking about. Uh, Mormonism and like there's like this whole song about uh, being Mormon or something. I don't know if it's Mormonism or not. Uh, it's like one sect of Christianity that apparently uh, took a hold of a king to be in the United States. Um, so it originated there. Um, Anyway, so they did like an episode of South Park on it. There was this like whole song uh, about them explaining it. Apparently, I, I don't know about this uh, whole thing, like the religion itself. But apparently, it's it, it was this one guy who was supposedly found like a, a book or like a tablet in the U.S. and in, in the United States. And he was like, okay, it's this tablet, and it's like. It's the word of God or something, but only I can read it uh, in like the start place, so like, and you gotta believe me, like, you can't test me, blah blah blah. It's basically stuff like that, and uh, South Park did like a song of explaining it, and the whole song's melody, I still remember, I don't remember the whole thing, but I remember the melody, and it's like, dum 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 like, da na 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 dum 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 like, they, they sing like the story, like this, la la, and then in the melody in between the sentences were like dum 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 dum, and then eventually like one uh, person's wife like figured out it was like the guy was being super dumb, and then the melody changed when they were explaining her side of the story. It was like smart, 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 smart. So uh, all the time we were like thinking, oh, it's just like a melody. It's like dum 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 dum, like. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, D U N D U N, kind of like that. But when they did like smart, 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 you understand they were not saying dum dum dum, they were saying dum dum dum. Okay, let's go see if we'll find any Zubat here. Let's catch some during daylight hours. Do we need to do anything right here? Large specimens caught. Uh, Let's defeat you with fire type instead. Sorry, I think. Also, I'm gonna get some cheese from the fridge. Because I didn't eat this stuff. That's. Spoiler for the next part of the recipe, fresh cheese. And the original recipe, they use mozzarella, uh, but I'm not gonna use mozzarella. Okay, there we go. Oh no, it's gold bats. We need zoo bats. Yeah. Uh, is, it, is there gonna be zoo bat outside? They're in the snow point right? Uh, This. Come on, man. He's following me. Stop following me. If I can't find a single Zubat, I'm gonna be mad. There's Zubat here. 
feel like there aren't any. Come on, on this floor. I think they're below. On the floor. Oh, it's so annoying. It's like this. I saw like. Is that? But we don't want to go that we want to that. Zoom 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 zoom. How else? And butterflies are my thing. This is my special one because it's knotted. Like this part of it is knotted. And I'm the one who likes to use it because otherwise. It's too low for me. It's too long for me. Okay. I don't think this is gonna do me any more. Uh, yeah. Okay, this room looks promising. But there's just Flaily and Graveler. Oops. Okay, bronze on is there. And no one else. I think they're supposed to be at the entrance because that's the only place bronze are was. A bronze on. Oh, now I have to get all the way back up there. Oh, you came down. To Parton! Okay, uh, oh shit, it's super fast. Like that much Machamp, oh my god. The Machamp yesterday was just like following me and just like throwing punches. And it was really good and it did get me and I was scared for my life and if that actually, it was scary in game. Like imagine if that happened with like, like a Machamp, like an alpha Machamp was like, Going at you from behind. <gasps> that would be so scary. Even like its footsteps. Oh, uh, sounds scary. I got scared at the sound first. Okay. There should be. Okay, cease. Bronzor. That's Bronzor. Hey, okay, is there any Zubat here? Please? No? There should be. I can't even find Zubat in the day, but you can't, no, this is so stupid. Okay, let's, let's see what, and let me show you what they do with shoes. Okay, let's, okay, this is Kashar cheese. Uh, this is like fresh Kashar cheese, we also have aged Kashar cheese, which is, they use mozzarella and uh, the recipe, but kashar is a good equivalent. It's like cheddar, uh, but it definitely melts better than uh, cheddar, I think. And it's um, amazing. Like this is the cheese to make grilled cheese with. This is like the uh, basic cheese in Turkey. Um, like if you're getting grilled cheese, which we just go toast, uh, or like to put it over your, uh, like we sprinkle cheese on our tomato soup and other types of cheesy soups. Um, this is a cheese to go. This is like the go-to fresh, soft cheese uh, in Turkey. It's the one that the kids love. Okay, so what they did was like cut these into little square holes and then make um, balls around them. So I'm going to try that too. Let's start with six. Who knows if we can actually... I'm going to use this, uh, this, the, the ball for the butter that I used. Uh, okay, now let's... Let's try this. Uh... Let's get like select. Um, okay, let's see. 
let's get the cheese in the middle. Let's add a little bit more here. Yeah, I think this worked out fine. Like, I'm sure it works out better if you have, like, glutinous rice flour. Because this is definitely very... Oh, it's because regular rice flour is gluten-free. Yeah, it says so on the box, like... Damn. Should just add us some regular flour. Uh, or just like regular corns, like regular uh, wheat starch or something. Mm. But I think this should be fine. Like I packed it into like a nice little ball. Let's put this here. Okay. Let's make another ball. I'm just flattening out, flattening it out. Or the cheese. Let's put this cheese in. Fell. Try covering it now. Yes, this cheese is slightly bigger than the one I used last time. Let's get a little bit more potato. Taste. I didn't cut two and two together when I said glutinous rice. I forgot about like the gluten part and that rice doesn't have any. Um, I think we'll be fine. Uh, yeah, this looks fine. We're just gonna fry it so it's, it's not gonna be chewy. Which is fine. Um, but yeah, another nice little ball. We got two here. And then I'm putting like the seam part up so I know where it is. You know what? I'm pretty sure I might not get six, even though I made six little squares. But we'll see. It's because I need a little bit more um, dough than they're using because my dough is very crumbly. I should have just used. But yeah, I think taste wise it's going to be fine if it doesn't crumble when it's cooking. Let's, let's go. Bring in another cheese like this. And I'm slowly. Okay, please don't freak to death, Jalen, while I'm making this potato mochi to celebrate your victory. Uh, I know. And we'll go see if those guys have respawned once we're done. Work. I'm just being like really gentle with like just using my palms so I can actually crumble them and I'm just like patting seams if they open. And yeah, I, I didn't need any extra for this one. I think I'm just gonna add a little bit. It's just like one open part and I don't wanna rip anything open just to cover this one part. We have enough dough. We don't need to make a lot. Okay. So I'm just shaping it now, making it a nice ball shape. It's pretty, it's like not round like regular mochi. It's, uh, it's more like meatball shaped. Um, not Swedish meatballs like you might hear, but like actual Swedish meatballs, like UFOs, I'd say. A UFO shape. Okay, now <laughs> I 
Like the thing is, the cooking part, we need to do a bunch before I can actually cook this, like gameplay wise, because, um, whatchamacallit, um, there needs to be two things happening at the same time. While I cook these mochi, I also need to make like the honey and butter sauce. Um, okay. Here's another patty I'm putting in, another cheese square full. I don't know why I'm calling uh, them square goals. It's just because they're not perfect squares. They're definitely not cubes. They're like, um, what they call? I don't know. I don't think I know the Like the funny thing is, I'm Obviously, I'm Turkish, and I went to uh, all the way up to high school in Turkey. Um, then I went to the U.S. for college. Uh, but <laughs> my high school was a German high school, so it was, everything was taught in German, especially all the and it was like a pre-engineered, like it was a gymnasium, uh, an Naturwissenschafts gymnasium. I know my German accent isn't great if <laughs> anyone's judging me. Uh, so it was like a pre-engineering, so it was really heavy on the science classes. But everything was taught in German, so math, uh, physics, biology, chemistry, everything was taught in uh, German. Um, and I'm good in those subjects too, so like, um, you don't really need to learn, like, language doesn't matter when you're learning, except for I think biology. biology. Uh, learning biology in biology and chemistry in German is awful because they give uh, different names to everything. Like oxygen is literally oxygen, I would say in like 90% of all, I don't know all languages. I'm pretty sure like most languages say oxygen. We say oxygen in Turkish. Um, you know what the German word for oxygen is? Zalashov. Yeah. Like, every, like everything else. Like, the, the regular things, uh, hydrogen, carbon, uh, those are the two things that came to mind right now. But like, uh, hydrogen is Wasserstoff, which means like water stuff. Like, uh, Sauerstoff, I'm pretty sure, like, sour stuff, oxygen means sour stuff. Carbon is Kohlenstoff, which means like, uh, coal stuff. Oh wait, um, like st but the funniest thing is sodium, like we all call it sodium, right? Except like on, uh, and potassium, because sodium and potassium are the only, like everything else is like, yeah, hydrogen is H, uh, oxygen is O, carbon is C, uh, whereas, you know, sodium is Na and potassium is K. Well, in German, definitely look, sodium is uh, is not Salzstoff, which would be, you know, like salt stuff, which would, you know, go with the theme. And no, it's natrium. It's, they're literally using everything else except for sodium. Oh, like they make up words for it, but when it's like sodium, like everyone else made up a word for it. No, we're just going to use like the Latin for it, like natrium and for Potassium, it's kalium, which is spelled with a K in German, obviously. <laughs> there, I don't know. It's funny. So that's, um, you know, biology is all about words. And German, the German language is pretty, it's actually pretty, um, what's the word? Um, Self-explanatory. Like, they give very straightforward um, names to things. Um, like, you know, like buses stuff, like water stuff. They explain it, what it is in the word. So they're, they're, you learn the word and you learn what it means at the same time, basically. But yeah, basically I learned everything, all of those in Turkish or German. So I, when I was studying in the US, uh, I took, I had to take like one math course, but then I uh, learned like, on my third year, I didn't actually have to take that class either. 
But I honestly, because everything is so different in German than in English, and obviously everything is different in Turkish, it's not very similar, especially in uh, stuff like math. I couldn't, no, I couldn't, like honestly, I couldn't remember anything. Uh, luckily, I had like a friend in my in the same class who also spoke German, so I always asked her, like, "What is Hochzeit in uh, English?" Because I couldn't remember what Hochzeit, which is also us in Turkish, um, but it's like power. It's like you know, like two to the power of two and stuff like that. Like I didn't learn those terms, and those are like because I don't use like I don't just speak German uh, in daily. Uh, in my daily life, but I still remember every single mathematical and like physics terms that I've learned. It's hilarious. All my friends do. Uh, and to be honest, it's 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 more fun to learn those in German because everything literally becomes a verb, like a funktion. I think it's my best. It's like how something becomes a function. Uh, uh, luckily, certain things uh, translate like function is function. Uh, wait, what is the other one? I forget. Um, function. I don't know. I can't remember anything. Obviously, it's been over 10 years since I graduated from high school. Uh, and obviously, I'm not in like a math related field. So I don't know. Okay, let's, this is the last one. I do have a little bit more patties left, so I might actually try to fill in the seams of the other ones with these. Let's, let's make some potato. Okay, what I was trying to say is I need to cook these and make the um, honey butter sauce that goes on top of it at the same, because like, if I cook these and make them wait too long, They'll go old. I don't. I don't think anyone wants to eat old, old food. Um, that's not meant to be cold. We actually love having cold food here in Turkey. Um, but I'm pretty sure most people know meze. What meze is? It's just like old appetizers here. But most of what we call meze, not even meze. These are just like regular, like uh, cold starters for us. Are called um. Uh, the olive oil dishes we call zeytin yala. It's just like you cook them and make them with a lot of olive oil, um, but then you let it cool before you eat it. And it's always vegetable dishes. My favorite, I think, is green beans. Um, and everybody makes it good. Then. And most of them have like warm, like main dish uh, versions too. You just add uh, mincemeat to it and it becomes like a warm main. Dish. Okay, here's the sixth one. Perfect. Let's modify the rest. There's like this much dough left. I'm just gonna pack these into like the little ones that could use like some extra patchwork on their seams. And then the rest is fine. Just like Oh, also, let's make these like the same ish size so they cut similarly. Also, you know, the tops or the bottoms shouldn't be too thin, otherwise, cheese will. I mean, it's probably gonna happen anyway because this is not the best dough. Oh, yeah, this one definitely needs a lot of extra patch. Patching. She is freezing up in there. Okay, I think you should be fine. Hmm, I know I shouldn't eat raw flour, but it's still so tasty. The sugar. I know at least it'll taste good if it cooks well. Mm hmm This one's a little bit tinier than the rest, but okay, we should be good. Um, I'm gonna wash my hands again and do a little bit. Putting away. Actually, I was just thinking because um, you know butter melts 
pretty quickly. So, I might as well just try to what kind of, okay, it's almost six here, which is great. The thing is, I just can't go over something because I need to go have dinner with my family, which is fine. We have an hour. Uh, put away cheese. video one more time. Actually, I don't need to watch it. I just need to, I took a photo of like the ingredients. Okay, for the butter sauce, we need salt. Oh, we do need the salt back. Uh, I thought I had Okay, let's put away the rice flour and sugar. Squeeze bottle of honey, which is great for like spreading things. Okay. But before we start, let's go see if those guys have respawned. Okay. Let's go here. Oops. Yes. Obviously, we couldn't find any Zubat during the day here, so. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, we needed to stun this guy. Oh, no. Oh, yes, it's back. Let's stun it. We need to stun this guy, too. Oh, yes. Uh, let's stun this out. Nice. And now we... Now we attack. It's not gonna hit us. Oh, so... So let's do like a strong style one. You know, who knows, we might get it in the first try. It's not gonna attack us, so it's fine. Let's do it one more time. Please, if it crits, it'll be great. Yes, it didn't crit, but it did the job. Nice. And now let's run, 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 run. And plug. I keep not pressing the correct buttons. That'd be sad if I died. I, it did happen once. I died because I pressed the wrong button. Trying to get great gear, but I didn't. Hello, hello, welcome, welcome. If you're confused as to what I'm doing, I just completed the Pokedex yesterday. It's not completed to perfection. That's like, that's gonna be an ongoing battle. Um, but as promised, uh, for, uh, because I, okay, let's see what, can I do anything with this chance? Let's see. Maybe. Um, let's, let's see. Yesterday I was playing like Pokemon Smile game and I'm in second gen right now and I got Blissey and I could tell from uh, its uh, silhouette that it was Blissey, but the problem was I, if I play this game by myself. I just like, okay, I try to guess the Pokemon by its uh, shape. And if I've only gotten two wrong, first, I couldn't get Ludicolo because I didn't expect Ludicolo being with the other uh, Gen 1 Pokemon. 
And then the second one was actually Spiro, because from his Pokemon Smile Shadow, I thought it was Growlithe. Uh, okay, uh, Blissey, and I kept calling Blissey in my head Clefable. Um, oh, I was explaining. I just completed a Pokedex, and um, as promised, I'm making potato mochi to celebrate. Okay, what do we need to do? Uh, we need to give it food. This is one. Yeah, let's defeat it. What fighting time is? <clears throat> it's very fun. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Oh, spear. This is level 79. The Blissey never gives as much um, experience points as Trinity does. I don't know if that's true in this game as well. Shit. It's not going to do much. Uh, Let's do two or spears. I'm not going to do much. Uh, let's just do a regular style. Okay, fine. First class, we turn to normal. Then I think this should get her now. It did get us pretty bad, but oh shit. Oh shit, soft boiled. Oh. Uh, I think this should be fine. Because she's her defense is like up right now. Oh my god, Blissey, what a tank. Shit. They're soft boiled. Um, so let's use like an agile one and then we can go a strong. We literally use all. If this doesn't kill her, we can't do anything about it because we don't have any DP left. Oh shit, it didn't work. Do we have any PP uh, restores? Oh my god. Oh, I did not expect this. Um, max potion. There's a swamp after having very Okay, we can't do anything about this, unfortunately. Oh wow. At least, you know, uh... Okay, uh, are we going the right way? Oh, also let's um, add that there's Blissey here. Okay. Now, a bit Garchomp respawn. Is it to them? I guess it did. Okay. Um, let's. I guess let's wait up here then until. Uh, one response here, and then in the meantime, let's go. I'm gonna get a shallow thing through this. Um, yeah, let me just watch the video again. So 
I'm just gonna use my past iron skillets, which should be fun. It's an all purpose one. Okay. And I'm gonna use the same pot for both. So I'm just gonna take a look at these guys. Now, you know, yeah, it's got a plate, put this here, yes, I don't know what do I want, do I want, I think I just want to, I'm pretty sure I'll be fine with, like the, the, I'm pretty sure I'll be fine with just like the spoon of fork, but, here, anyways, uh, I'm also going to get a squash board just because my computer is here. And I don't want, okay, like getting squashed. So let's move this quietly. Now, I'm going to pop it in the middle so it doesn't smell too oily here. Now, while we're waiting, is the guard chomp here? No. Okay. There's this. Turn on. Let's add some oil. Just do this. You guys see? Got my pan here, my potatoes here, and my plate is here. And we're just waiting. While we're waiting, let's go see if we need to do anything with Dibble. I love Dibble, it's so cute. And I'm not far Tom Gibble and Gabe, I actually have uh, the, um, a sword, Chinese, I think. I, th I don't know what they look like. Um, oh, we don't have any eyesight news. Oh, wait, no, we do. Uh, Revile is an eyesight. How could it not? Yeah, obviously, I see. Let's go. Ice beam. Okay, it's. Okay, now let's go back to our little end spot. Let's get these tumble stones too because I'm kind of running low on those guys. Oh, space sign of sorcery. Where is it for me? Uh, can't see. Um, oh, it's actually pretty close by. We can wait here. Oh, no. Uh, we'll wait here until a Gaba, uh, a Garchomp responds. And in the meantime, we're cooking. We can, hopefully, everything will be fine by the time. Oh, wait. Um, right, let me be ready for. I'm also not going to measure for like the butter sauce. Let me just. Not even. Yes, he's fine though. Okay. 
Okay, the this is looking good. I'm just gonna put gently put these guys in to the sides. Nothing burns. This skillet is a good size for that, so they're not too bunched up together. Okay. Turn down the heat a little bit because cast iron really does retain the heat well, and I don't want them to get too hot that they burn. Just gonna add a little bit more oil in the middle. Did the game what? Did the... Oh wait, did the thing form? Let's, let's go see. Oh wait, no. I think it's formed, right? This is where I... This is where I would... Go for it. Maybe I don't think it's spawned yet. I guess this. It's just a rock. If we got a daily G chance, okay, I need to first of all get off of this guy. Mm. Number defeated. Oh. Um. Oh. oh, it's forming. But wait, I need to turn these guys around. Wait, I think. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Literally, just the skin is like on the thing. <laughs> the skin. I can't, I can't even show you. Um, I don't think I'll be able to. You're literally just... Oh, it, I guess it's... Oh, how am I going to do this? If I just like flip it onto... Did it stick? I this is literally like a potato chip, like, and it's probably stuck. If I just do this. I don't know. I don't know what to do, guys. Oh, this was not part of the plan. Who knows? Let's give them a little, a, a little bit more while we explore this space-time distortion for you now. The shorts. Let's see what happens. Do you see it? Oops, there we go. And if you appear, we need to do do wrap dash. Uh, number defeated. Alpha. I need to catch an alpha. You know what? Ain't nobody got time for that. We know. Oh, nice. Okay, three strays that we got. Hmm, do we need more Ashwat? Actually, do not. Stay us. We us. We 
of the side. But no red shards as usual. Oh, this is I said that. Thank you. Ooh, this is Um, let's jump over you guys. But it's starting to smoke in here. So let's see. Okay. Well, they're burned <laughs> under, but I couldn't flip them before. I mean, they're not too bad. It's just that I couldn't. I mean, it's not even at a high heat, it's like at, at a medium temperature. Hmm. So I can't get this one. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. Definitely should have used a non-stick, but I couldn't find it. Okay. I don't know if you guys can see, but they're they're pretty burning, but it's fine. It's not like they're they're like a dark brown. <laughs> it's so edible. I would say. But it would be a big bad idea to actually cook the butter in this pan due to all the pond. Okay. Hmm. Let me try it. Let me try adding like potato skins in the middle. Let's see how that goes. We run with these guys. Have a bunch. I can just try them out too. I'm just Let's get these guys. Let's let's try this potato skin. Hmm. Delicious. Well, definitely be better to do this like after. The potatoes themselves. I'm gonna add a little bit more alcohol. Um, <clears throat> I don't know why they burn so much, probably because of it. Like the problem wasn't them burning, it's just like I they really stuck. Thing. Like I couldn't really show it to you guys, but like when I tried flipping one, like the bottom bottom crust literally just like it got stuck to the bottom of the pan, and then like the rest of the pit ball just like came up. Um. Okay, so let me get another small pan. I'm just gonna find the right space for it. I'm gonna add the butter and the honey and the salt. I'm just add a slow temperature. Set four tablespoons. 
but I can't really. We don't really have like those like, six of butter here. I'm just gonna eyeball this. Mm. I think this should be enough. And then some honey. I don't think this is open yet. It's because we have a different honey open thing. Oh no, it is been open. I was just being in the kitchen. Yep, yeah, that should be enough. And I'm pretty sure the potatoes are done as well. Let's see if we can get them out now. Oh no, the bottoms are worse. But the thing is I can definitely, at least I know that I can remove the skin part of it. Okay. Yeah, definitely we don't do this in a, a cast iron skillet. They burn quite quickly. Oh, what, what? Oh, wait. Not yet. Because still have the potato skin spread. They're really thin, so it's fine to like just shallow fry them. I'm just laying them one by one away from me. And I, I can just drop most of them because they're tiny. Mm -hmm. And then let's turn the fuel up for the sputter. Let's put these. Yeah, I'm pretty sure these are good. I mean, just potatoes. You'd be fine if, if you just ate them straight up to after washing them. Which I did. Is foaming. Okay, here, by the way, here is like the really, let me really at least switch to the better looking side. Okay, 
Now here is the butter. It's like foaming and everything. It smells delicious. Let me actually try one of these skins. The butter is looking good. I am just slowly stirring it in the pot. And now I'm gonna drizzle it over these guys. Ooh. If these guys look better, I totally put them on Instagram. But, well, at least the butter will make them put a little bit on the inside to have it. I'm not too sure. This was a lot of butter. Um, okay, but we're done now. Okay, let me put it up to my face. Now it's time to try these guys. Let's see. The skins are great. Let's dig in. You guys see? Okay. I'm gonna cut open the closest one. It's, this is like rock hard. But yeah, I can't obviously because it's super hot and it's super squishy, I can't really eat it with my hand. No, oh, maybe I can, oh my God, the cheese melted so nicely. You see? I can't really cut into it, but oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at this cheesy goodness. Oh my god. Oh. Mm. Um, with the honey drizzle, um, it's really important, it's really that good. Oh. Um. It definitely doesn't taste burnt because, I don't know, maybe because I drizzled the butter on top, but it does give a really nice crunch. I don't think this is the exact right thing, but let me tell you, it is good, but I cannot, I shouldn't have drizzled all on top of it because I definitely can't finish this by my, right now, especially. Because in an hour, I'm going to dinner. But oh my god. It is... Is it the best thing I ever had? No, because... I've had really good things in my life. Like, the place that I'm going to tonight has the best cream of spinach. And the... Uh, and... Uh, grilled oyster mushrooms. I'm looking forward to that. But this is pretty nice. And I like, I especially love the honey butter drizzle. That is definitely something doable for like multiple things other than this. I think this would just like, it'll, this would be easier as a mashed potato, you know? And, and I'm, I'm sure if I had like, uh, glutinous rice and I could like pick this up and eat, maybe it'll taste better or different. But I don't know. I feel like I could definitely recreate this with just like a packet of potato gnocchi and the kashar cheese on um, this amazing result. But I'm glad I decided to do it for this game. It's been fun. Okay, well, right, now that we're finishing this, you know what? Burning the bottoms of these was the best happy accident because it was actually adds so much flavor and texture to these things. That is actually my favorite part. I'm gonna wash my hand really quick. Um,
Mm -hmm. I love that this apron has a little towel. Um, let's see. I am going to keep the sound because after I end the stream, I am going to do a lot of dishwashing. Well, not a lot actually. I haven't done them as much damage that I than I usually do, which is great. And have another potato skin. You are very quiet, but these are little salt on but not necessarily. Okay, let's go get more of those shards. I remember where I left off. Okay, Scyther. No, it's Caesar. There's something here, Stardust. I don't think I got a lot of that. Oh, it's an alpha Scyther. Is there any red ones? No, just blue. More Caesar, and then the worst thing about these guys is I really want to actually have another one, but they're potatoes, they're, so they're extremely filling, and they're like the worst thing to do, to like snack on before dinner. Actually, I would say they're definitely not a snack. It's just that for me today, uh, the schedule worked out like that way. It's because I could con oh, red shirt, red shirt. Oh, damn. I know I walked into it, but no, I had to. Because red shirts, the most elusive of the shirts for me at least. What is this guy? Let's, let's see. I'm just eating a little, little bits that are from the one ball that I made. Hmm. When am I gonna sing a palm or Pachirisu out of a tree? Uh, let's just run. And then. Shirts. There's a shirt down here. I don't know. No, I think so. Oh, is that a shirt? No, it was just a little there or something. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a shirt. <gasps> it's a start piece even better. That's what we want to make with the shirts for our monies. What is this? That's a picture. Oh, I don't care for you guys right now. I'm gonna start running the other way. Because I think I've become too familiar with this. Right, I don't need you, Evie. I need to cash you. The jet is spotting me, and unfortunately, that is not going to happen in this space time distortion. Okay, can you see any here? It feels like, it sounds like the distortion might disappear soon, and just as I said that, it did. Okay, um. Okay, wrong. Um, but as usual, I'll still see if that bird chomp made it. So we can defeat it, and then we can go defeat, um, there's still a long way to go to that third chomp. I think it's going to be faster if we just use all the way to, oh, okay, here it is. Well, first of all, obviously, we better stun it. Oh my god! Yes. Now. Oh, 
the potato skin stretch the honey butter and it's great. Okay, let's just use the regular drink test first. Oh no. It didn't do much. Okay. Mm. One more regular drink test. Then we'll do like a big one. What's it gonna do? As I, do, I think we'll be able to handle it. Oh shit. Okay, come on, it's my turn now, and we're just gonna do a strong style of green kiss. And hopefully defeat you, Garchomp. Nice. We defeat it, Garchomp. Nice. Okay, now let's go after that. Um, Lucario. Oh my god, how did I do that from like all the way there? You know what? Might as well just get this. Um, what's it called? Not gay bite? Give up. Give up. Right? Yes. The regular one should do. Nice. That beam almost reached across the mountain. Okay, now we should be able to cross this one. This time. Right. Yes. Come on, Lucario. Oh, did it not respawn? Hmm, I guess neither the um the thingy. Okay, but I think that will be it for today. Um, obviously, let's go rest first. Oh, also, let's go speak with the professor. See what we've done. I'm gonna put it into what twenty iron plate. Yes. Oh, I just caught the one. It, which is great, you know? It, I couldn't catch that one last I was here. So that's good. Oh. Dibble. Done some Dibble. Oh, Rosary got like a path of solitude thingy. Machamp. Ah, oh, we did a lot with Machamp. Uh, another Crobat up in the air, bombs are how are we gonna get to do that in the end of the day? Uh Blissy, Garchomp, we can be closely we call you the beta with Um oh we only use uh see it use a song to have eight more times. That's good. So Dragon Claw uh twelve more times. And yeah, we can do that. We oh we should have defeated that day by we were really there. Uh, okay, let's go to the village. So on my uh days offline I can level up those guys for the path of solitude as well. Let's see if that's okay, we're in the village. Um obviously I forgot to do this yesterday, but I did it offline. Uh, let's return these satchels. That's why I don't have the ones from yesterday. Let's, this is, and then let's save. And that's it for today. Thank you for joining me for my, uh, completion potato mochi time. The uh, recipe cooking. This has been a nice full circle because on my second stream ever, which is like the first one I old new to record. Um, that's, that's the first stream of mine that's on record. I was actually making some milk jam. Uh, that was unrelated to Pokemon. And at, at that time I was still figuring out my system and everything. I still didn't have a capture card. Uh, so if you go watch that, it's like super jinky. I was just recording my uh, Swiss screen from my phone. 
was, and then I was cooking, but that cooking was much simpler than this. It was just like me watching milk boil, <laughs> literally, um, with some sugar in it. Um, I, I just had to do that um, at that time, and I wanted to do that at the same time. And I did, and I did that again today. Uh, so thank you for joining me. Um, this potato mochi was delicious. I think better than Benny's. I forgot his name for a moment. But um, I'll see you next time. So, bye!